Howdy, people! Zarthwomp here, and welcome to episode 11 of Skyrim. Last time, we did some more quests for the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid betrayed us. But then Astrid, in turn, got betrayed herself, and now she is ash on the ground, and we are taking over killing the Emperor, because basically the the, the uh, Penitus Ocularis, they tried to take us out, but they failed, and now we're going to take them out. Anyways, where's my fireball? I need to get fireball out because, frankly, we need to roast him down. I'll admit, I'm having trouble coming to terms with all of this. I'll just follow in the zoo. Why is the zoo your leader? What a mess. I guess this is the end. It, it'll end when I want to end. Not exactly. What? Well, what did she say? F you, Nazim. <laughs> Nazir. Armand Moltier? Yes. But that would mean... We, the quest is still on, baby. The contract is still on. The true emperor must be assassinated. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Hey, we're here, aren't we? Yes, it lives on in Nazir. It lives on in you. It lives on in Florian. It lives on the creepy vampire girl. All right then, go, go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Moltier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go. Yeah, watch out. And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Yeah, watch out, Nazir. He basically. My girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah, and watch out, just Nazir. He just runs the carriage system outside White Run. <laughs> Hop on back. Just does he? The guy doesn't even question the the night mother being carried. But then again, he doesn't he doesn't mind transporting a white criminal who's killed the entire White Run guard. Speaking of which, that's gonna be a real fun one because we enter White Run, we're gonna essentially get busted the second we get in. Yeah, because they're not exactly gonna be happy that we well that we pretty much been decimating their entire guard staff all over Nazim. So, anyways, let's see if I can sneak into White. Let's see if we can sneak into White Run. We'll head into the state. We'll head into the stables, and then we'll go up from there. Because Florian is not gonna pay a fine. He's gonna go to jail if he gets caught. But frankly, just hopefully we can get him without having to deal with the guards. Because I'm not in the mood to serve a jail sentence. Florian does not need to serve a jail sentence if he doesn't need to serve a jail sentence. Because Florian, he knows what he does. Florian is very much aware of the crimes he's committed against Skyrim and its people. Okay. From the look of it, it doesn't seem that it doesn't seem like White Run has replaced their guard staff. Just they have not replaced all the guards that Florian killed off. No matter Florian. Oh! Yeah, no. Fine, fine. Take me to jail. Take Florian to jail. Florian doesn't need to deal with this, you know. Florian doesn't need to deal with this horde of crimes, you know. He doesn't need to deal with people trying to send him off to jail. Think you can hold? Think you can hold Florian? Uh, sorry, I got Florian and, and Nazir mixed up. Yeah, let's just serve the jail sentence. We won't lose any levels, so it's all good. It'll at least mean that we can go into White Run without any worries. Yeah, I swear, just they cannot. Too bad that jail trying to escape from jail is entirely pointless. Because the second you escape from jail, your bounty's back up. Really, I don't get why that's a thing. If you escape from jail, your bounty should be gone. Because technically you escaped from jail. But then again. But then again, they're trying to go legit with it. Okay, let's see. Let's get rid of that outfit. Okay, where is it? Where are those rags? I want to get rid of the rags, ragged robes, and ragged boots. Drop, drop. There we go. 
Yeah, just put those on the bridge. You know what? Nah, I'm not gonna pollute the Scott, the Cloud District. Oh, the March of the Guards. Look how many guards there are. What are these? All the new recruits that have received the Florian Greenvale, the G Florian Greenheart training seminar. Don't mess with Florian. He won't mess with you. Oh, all these guards walking in one line. I'm so tempted, but yet I have to fight the urge. Florian has to fight off that urge. Yes, yes, go on, Hemsgear. Yes, the tree. What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong lord woman. Nah, Florian just doesn't care. I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my elder. Really, if Florian hadn't just gotten out of jail, you would be getting a fireball to the face, Braith. Seriously, why do children have to be essential? Yeah, Zarthwamp, encouraging the destruction of children since 2018. Okay. Let's head to the Bannered Mayor and get our contract. Yeah, this is going to be relatively quick, because we're pretty much done with the Dark Brotherhood side quest. And as you can see from the title, then we'll try to buy a house. I ain't done nothing. Uh, thank you. I, I didn't really care. It's a lady you're looking for. You best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. Oh, is that a challenge? Because no woman can resist the charms of Florian Greenheart. Perhaps you've heard of him. And if, like I said, if Florian hadn't just gotten out of prison, he would be roasting you with a fireball. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. That's right, Aunt Amand. I'm back. We have unfinished business. By the gods. You, you're alive. But I had heard... Your sanctuary. Lorian is no you stranger to this. Anything to do with that? I wanted the emperor dead, the true emperor. I still do. It was Maro. He. The emperor, where is he? You mean after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Give Florian his money, and he'll oh, do this anything. Is astounding news! Wonderful news! Yes. The emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Cataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contract, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Why don't you reveal it now? Where is Morrow? <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude docks conducting the Emperor's departure. Please, make haste. Yes. The Emperor's ship won't stay more than You don't have to tell Florian twice. Florian would be more than happy to go on board that ship and just finish business. Let's head out to the ship right here. Board the Cataraya and kill Morrow. You know how Florian is. You know how Florian is when it comes to getting his revenge. So, of course, Florian is going to be wiping out Morrow. Morrow will not survive this day because, frankly, Florian has killed people over less. Florian has, ki Florian has started conflicts in Whiterun over a, over a battleborn telling him to not use magic. You don't tell Florian what to do. You don't mess with Florian and he won't mess with you. It's that simple. Okay, Morrow, we're gonna make this personal. Gods. You! I can't believe it. You're dead. You! What do you think you're doing? Yeah! What? What? Co Commander Morrow's crime faction. Okay, that is a weird thing. I never knew that Morrow had an actual. Have faction dedicated him. Okay, you want to try me, Pentas Ocular Sagent? Thought you have had something better on you, Morrow. You know what, Morrow? I'm going to take all your clothes. Then I'm going to put your cl then I'm going to put them into the ocean. Where are you? Where is the Pentis Ocular stuff? I'm going to throw your stuff into the ocean. 
drop, drop, drop. Yeah, I'm, put, I'm gonna put it all on you. And then I'm just gonna toss you overboard. Come on, Morrow, you're going overboard. You're going into the water. Ah, yeah. Into the water, come on. There you go, there you go. Now let's head on to that ship, shall we? Guy they say? Looking to hire a boat? No, I don't want your boat. I want your crummy boat. Let's go in the water, shall we? Florian, he's more than happy to swim. He's more than happy to take a swim. Yeah, really. If yeah, too bad that Skyrim does not have the same kind of underwater exploration that Oblivion has. Because really, that's one thing I love about Oblivion. Where basically with Oblivion, just w underwater is just such a cool thing. You can fight underwater, you can swing your swords. You, you can't use Magicka, which is kind of sad. But I can understand that. I mean, Fire Magicka would be just extinguished by the water, unless it was exceedingly heated. And just... And ice and electricity magic, uh, that would probably just be a nightmare way. That would be just a disaster waiting to happen, considering just electrical magic. Uh, you would basically just shock yourself. But let's get into the ship, shall we? We'll go into the anchor. Where's the anchor? I want to find the anchor. There it is. You know, why don't we just destroy the rudder just to keep the ship in? Okay, we're inside the ship. We will finish off the Emperor. He shall be no match for us. Just his guards, nothing to us. Really, we could tear through these Penitus Ocularis agents like no, you wouldn't believe. And that's the last one. All right, enough of it. Your worst nightmare. Yeah, bring it on. Come on. Someone else want to come in for the fun? Sailor. Take your gold. Whoa. Okay, you stuck up on me. Good on you. Good on you. But you weren't strong enough. Okay. Coin purse. Might as well take all the gold we can, you know. Put that over there. Ruins. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that wasn't a quest book. Because I believe that we'll be soon be we'll soon be able to encounter a useful quest book that I may or may not do. Okay, search around. Bed. You know what? Yeah, I'll get my fireballs out. Okay, someone's hammering. No survivors on this ship. Hey. Boom. You're gone. Found you. ah. For some reason, my Magicka was not activating. I think I obliterated that guy. Oh, there he is. And that Penitus Ocular stuff. Sailor. Sorry, wrong thing. Yeah, I think that there's basically a little bit of an East. There's a bit of a secret in that. Basically, there's another assassin on board disguised as a sailor. But I just wanted to check. Dresser, Imperial boots. Not any good armor like I have. Okay, just searching around. 95 level conjuration. Yeah, I'll level up destruction a bit more. Because frankly... Just this place will be a pretty fun e excursion for our for our destruction spells. Plentiful healing, brief brief histories, chances of folly, nothing useful, I believe. Kitchen, ra rather storage area, wood. Why can't we burn this entire place down with our fire? That would just be really useful. Fire. Well, it's all over now. That tenant said you could see the smoke from White Run. And they're all dead. Two fireballs, all easy. 
take your gold. I don't care. Did we hit the guy? Hmm, could have sworn there was a second guy here. No, we actually sniped him with a fireball. Cool. Florian, Florian. We could go to the Katariah's deck. Ah, no. There we go. What you have on you? Master key, potion for healing. Nothing. Ah, cool. Coin purse. Nice. I'll take that. Take all those yummy, yummy coin purses. A loot. Florian does not like the loot. Oh, what is this place? Some bar paradise? Florian's not dealing with any of that. Not on his ship. Yeah, Florian's getting back in the swing of using destruction magica. Just, he likes his destruction magica. Okay, what's my door number one? Just, uh, dead Pentas Ocularis agent. Well, we destroyed him. It's all good. Your, no Imperial, okay, Imperial armor. I know, yeah, this is the guy. This is the fake assassin, this is the assassin. Well, we destroyed him, that's for sure. Okay, Apothecary Satchel, bunch of healing. We'll take that. Gold. Yeah, I love how we foiled this guy's plan. We foiled this assassin's plan. Open the door. Boom! Just, I love that. Just being able to just destroy them with fireballs. Anyone else? Really? You thought your arrows were going to stop me? You thought Florian was going to be stopped by a guy with a bow? Florian can fire fireballs from his hand. You stood no chance against Florian and his fireballs of might and strength. Florian, he grows stronger with each fireball. Florian is growing, and Florian shall be powerful and wondrous. Myths of Sheagoroth? Yeah, this is actually a pretty interesting book. In fact, I want to read through it. In the earliest of days, in a time when the world was still raw, Sheagoroth decided to walk amongst the mortals. Be damned his guise as a gentleman. He donned his guise of a gentleman with a cane and moved from place to place without being recognized. After 11 days and 11 nights, Sheogorath decided that life was amongst the mortals was more, even more boring than his otherworldly existence. What can I do to make their lives more interesting? He said to himself. At the same moment, a young woman nearby commented wistfully to herself. The sounds of the birds are so beautiful. Sheogorath silently agreed with her. Mortals could not make the beautiful and inspired calls of the birds. Their voices were wretched and m and mundane. He could not change the nature of mortals, for that was the purview of other Daedric princes. However, he could give them the tools to make beautiful sounds. Shorgor took hold of the per of the petulant woman and ripped her asunder. From her ten tendons, he made lutes. From her skull and arm bones became a drum. From her bones, he made flutes. He presented these gifts to the mortals, and thus music was born. Shirgorath and King Lindir. King Lindir was known to be an exceedingly rational man. He lived in a palace that was a small, simple structure, unadorned with art and ugly to look upon. I do not need more than this, he would say. Why spend my gold on such luxuries when I can spend it on my armies or the great or great public works? His kingdom prospered under his sensible rule. However, the people did not always share the king's sense of practicality. They would build houses that were beautiful to look upon although not necessarily very practical. They devoted time and energy to works of art. They would celebrate events with lavish festivals. In general, they were quite happy. King Lion Deer was disappointed that more of them did not follow his example and lead frugal, sensible lives. He brooded on this for many years. Finally, he decided that his subjects simply didn't understand how much more they could accomplish if they didn't waste time on those frivolous activities. Perhaps he reasoned they just needed more examples. The king decreed that all new buildings must be simple, unadorned, and no longer and no larger than was necessary for their function. 
The people were not happy about this, but they liked their king and respected the new law. In a few short years, there were more plain buildings than ornate ones. The citizens used the money saved to make and buy even more lavish art and hold even more excessive celebrations. Once again, King Lion Deer decided to provide them a strict example of how beneficial it would be to use their time and resources for more practical purposes. He banned all works of art in the city. The people were quite put out by this, but they knew that their king was doing what he thought was best for them. However, human nature is not so easily denied. In a few more years, the city was filled with plain, simple buildings and devoid of any sort of art. However, the people now had even more money and time to devote to their parties and festivals. With a beauty, heavy heart, King Lion Deer decided that his people were to be treated like children, and like all children, they needed rules and discipline laid down by great figures of authority to make them understand what was, un was truly important in life. He decreed that there should be no revelry in the city. Singing, dancing, and music were all banned. Even food and drink were limited to water and simple foodstuffs. The people had had, had enough. Revolt was out, of qu was out of the question, since King Lion Deer had a very well-trained and equipped army. They visited the shrines and temples in the groves, praying to all the gods, and even to some of the Dragic princes, that King Lion Deer would revoke these new oppressive laws. Shiagorath heard their pleas and decided to visit King Lion Deer. He appeared to the king in his dreams as a, as a field of flowers, each with arms that petals and the face of the, of the Magadu in the center. I am the Lord of Creative and the Lord of the Dangaroo! Since you have not used my gifts for creativity, I have decided to bless you with an abundance of my other gift. From that day forward, every child born in the city was born into madness. Since infants do not revel reveal illness of the mind, it was several years before this was realized. The king's own son was among the victims, suffering from seizures and delusions. Yet King Landier refused to change his ways. When his son, Glint, was twelve years old, he stabbed his father while Landier was sleeping. With his dying breath, King Lion Deer asked why. His son replied, It is the most practical thing I could do. The new young king ordered all the owl servants slaughtered. He ordered a grand festival to celebrate his new reign and the, re and the repeal of Lion Deer's laws. He served the crowd a stew made from the carcasses of the owl servants. He ordered the east facing walls of every building painted red and the west facing walls painted in stripes. He decreed that all citizens wear ornate masks on the backs of their heads, and he burnt down the palace and began construction of a new one. In, his, in the new palace, the young king ordered his personal chambers to ha not have any doors for fear that small willing creatures would attack him. He ordered that it have no windows for fear that the sun and moon were jealous of him, implying his death. And thus ended the line of King Landier. The people of the city returned to their grand works of art and rav and ra ra and raucous celebrations. They talked and acted as if they still had a living king, and even kept up the palace, using it to house and care for their m mad children. Shiagorth was mighty pleased with his this outcome. From that day forward, the city was blessed with more than the normal number of gifted artists and deranged citizens. The Contest of Wills, a mighty wizard named Rev... Okay, sorry. I'll just look through this book. I'm not going to read the entirety of the book. Oh, no. Okay, it, this is actually almost done. I thought there was a different one. Okay, a mighty wizard named Ravat once walked the winds of time in, into the to find Lord Shiagorath. His intent was to win a favor from this most capricious of Daedric princes. Upon finding Shiagorath, Ravat spoke bumbling to him, humbly to him, Lord Shiagorath, I beg a favor of you. I would gladly drive a thousand men mad in your name if it would grant me a greater magical power. Fortunately for Ravate, Shiagorath was in a playful mood. He promised a game. I will grant your wish if you are still sane in three days. During that time, I will do my utmost to drive you mad. It shall soon be great fun. Ravate was not so certain that he liked this new deal. He had been really looking forward to live driving a thousand men mad. Lord Shiagorath, I regret having disturbed you with my shallow, selfish request. I withdraw my unfortunate plea and will humbly leave this place. Shiagorath just laughed. Too late, mighty Rivate! This game is a fortune you must play! Rivate fled, only to find that all exits from the Daedric Realm were now sealed. He wandered aimlessly, constantly looking over his shoulder, jumping at every noise. Each moment brought new terror as he waited for Shiagorath to begin. After three days, Rivate was convinced that every plant animal was a tool of Shiagorath. He hadn't even dr he hadn't eaten or dr drunk from fear that Shiagorath had poisoned the food or drink. He hadn't slept for fear of Shiagorath invading his dreams, which was foolish, as dreams of the domain of Vermira. May she grant us restful sleep. It was then that Shiagorath appeared to him. Ravet cried out, You have set the whole world to watching me! Every creature and plant are doing your bidding to drive me mad! 
and it's revealed that she and watch how it's revealed that Chia Gorath didn't do anything. He basically just was waiting for for basically Ravate to drive himself mad. Chia Gorath replied, "Actually, I have done nothing. You have driven yourself mad with your fears. Your delusions prove that you are truly deranged, and therefore I win. Well, you wanted to make a thousand men mad. I only want to break one man's mind. Yours. From that day forward, Ravate served Chia Gorath's every whim." Whenever daring travelers try to approach Shiagorath, Ravate warns them, Shiagorath is already inside each and every one of us. You have already lost. Yeah, Shiagorath is one of the more interesting Daedric princes. He has a good personality, and basically, he has a lot of wit about him. Okay, let's just head out, though. Anything else on the Kataraya? Door. Wow, this guy actually lived. He actually survived. Lieutenant Salvaris. We already have a master key from the captain. He has a map. A map that I pretty much blew up. Greater Soul Gem, we'll take that. Okay. Nothing else in here. We could head up the ship. I'll search around more of this area. Okay, let's head on to the Kataraya's deck, shall we? Tankers. Just because I think that there are some people that we can train our magic on. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Farewell. Boom! Kill you. Really? You think that you could say a chance? I just murdered all your friends! Wow, that guy actually dodged the fireball! Well, let's see what gold you have. Six gold? Only six gold? For shame. I'll take your healing. Take that. Okay, let's search around, see what's going on. Okay, jump down. Let's search this guy, see what you have. Four gold, I will take your four gold. Every bit of gold counts. Every septum leads to greater power. Seven gold, seven gold. So much gold, it's seven gold. Take from you your eight gold. Very nice. Can't miss your gold. Y yeah, I'll take your amulet of Zenithar. Excuse me, I can sell it for a decent price. Reed King. Not gonna use that. Cheese wedge. Okay, flute. No flute. Yes, let's search for the bow of the ship. Yeah, that's right. Because on the bow, there is a good sword here for us. If you are, if you're ever interested in one-handed weapons, this is a pretty good one right here. Wind shear. It can, do, it can do a pretty good job. It can knock enemies down. Though, frankly, Florian doesn't really want to use it. He would not use that kind of sword. Why use that sad excuse for a sword when he has magic? When he has a magic sword? Yeah, I believe that would just lead us up to the king. It would just... The emperor, I mean. It would just take us up to... It would just take us up to... To him. I, I don't really know. I, I always have a hard time remembering the emperor's name. Okay, where are you? Titus Mead. Titus Mead. Destroy you. Let's head up. And see what else is up here. Oh, that I could have just gone here. Well, no no reason, no reason to fear. Okay. Uh. Uh, so we went up. We went up to this floor of the ship. Anything else? Ah, here we go. The Emperor's Quarters. The Emperor 
shall die to my sword. The Emperor deserves at least that much. He deserves a sword. Where is my sword? Yes, the Master Key. The Imperial Sky... The Imperial Powers in Skyrim. No matter, we shall enter. And once more I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told you, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Finally, someone who speaks sense. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. You were expecting me? But of course. You and I have a date with destiny, but so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder... Would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? I'm listening. Well, I thank you for your courtesy. You will kill me, and I have accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain... You have no idea. So, I ask of you a favor. <laughs> an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you've been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Yes. Florian will consider. Thank you. Now, on to the business at hand, I suppose. Hmm? Whatever you say, Mead. Well, and he didn't even get to die properly. I will take your robes for selling purposes. Brotherhood of Darkness. Something I don't care to read. Map. Will. Amulet Kings. Yes. Learning about your predecessors. Will. Map of Skyrim. Display case with an Orcish Axe. Hey, this is the Emperor. I'm going to take whatever I can out of this place. Okay, took everything out of that cabinet. Okay, Dream of Sovngarde, Oblivion Crisis, stuff I don't care about. No real valuable books. Lavender, Mountain Flower. Okay, Snowberries, a lot of Snowberries. Bowl, Goblet, Plate. I'm going to take your plates. Only five gold for that platter? Thought you would have had a more valuable platter on hand. You know, for an Emperor's room, this is surprisingly low value. What is this, Emperor? Not going yet into Skyrim. There we go. Hopefully this place has some nice stuff. Yeah, there we go. Let's take his stuff. There's the real valuables. Take these. Your vigorous potion healing. We'll take that as well. What's in your pot? The carry satchel. Yeah, we'll take some wheat. Okay, nothing I can really use from that. Okay. Scaled braces. I'm not going to really use those. Not going to sell them. Your hats. Okay. Lost Legends. Oh, yes, this one! Okay, good, good. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Never mind, this isn't the right one. But still, I, I got the Lost Legends book. You know, I'm not going to use it. I, at least not yet. At least I got something out of it. Wardrobe. Anything here? Clothes, iron, fine clothing. Nothing I really want. 
Okay. We got everything we need, so let's get going. Well, we've unlocked the door. We've gotten the bro Dark Brotherhood. We've killed the elite. We have destroyed the Emperor. Florian has done what the other Thalmor were unable to do. Anything here? Okay, nope. Love out your security is so limited. Let's head to, head to White Run. There we go. It's the large tree in White Run. The Gilder Green tree that we saved in the very first episode, I believe. That was the second one. Let's wait. The long dead Dwimmer. They have built the spiders. They built everything. Okay, we'll go. Yes, yes, I can control fire. What of it? To believe, we didn't even get an upgrade on that. Let's head out, shall we? In here? I don't care about your produce, Carlotta. All I care about is basically getting my money. Need something? Close that door. We don't want any witnesses. <laughs> He's back. dead. I know, I know. I received the news not moments ago. <laughs> this is glorious. My friends, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire. Indeed, all of Tamriel in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, uh, but you care little for politics, am I right? Florian has his political views. And money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrune. Now please, go. Collect your money. And let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Okay. Ah, but we had a deal. To end this game. Please, to nope. Ah! Tremor Lord, save my ass! Ah. Oh, come on! Good! Yeah, come on. Every time. It's not I cannot miss. That's all. Fast heal, fast heal, fast heal. Fast heal, fast heal, fast heal, fast heal. Why does Caius come after me all the time? You can't defeat me. Did your soul? Your soul survived! Your soul survived! Stop following me! Okay, where are you? Where are you, my Dramora Lord? Come on, where's my fast heal? Good. Come on! 
Peachy's dead. Well, we missed out on a potential follower. No, nah, no, no. She, I, she, I outclassed her anyways. Go, my Dromora Lord. Finish them all. No, not your soul, huh? She's positively corrupt. Good. Take him on, Dromora Lord. Fight him. Run, you soul, run! We're out! Yeah, we're getting out of here. Yeah, I love how every fight is essential. How every time we leave a city, it's always basically having to fight up the entire guard. That's very much just tradition at this point. The sun rises to the east, the sky is blue, Flory has to slaughter about a dozen or so guards. Go! Yeah, Matrix style, baby! Why do you keep coming after me, Caius? Come on. Bring it. Boom, jump. Why, Caius? Why do you constantly do this? You know you're going to lose, Caius. I love how Caius is essentially just the guy who's constantly getting beat down in these runs. And Caius is just unrelenting. Caius, just stay down. Stay down, Caius. You are not going to survive. You will not live. Really, Caius, I could be using you as a training dummy. That's pretty much what you are at this point. You are just an overgrown training dummy that basically we've just been blasting down over and over again. To no end, just boom, boom, boom. Caius survives nothing. Okay, I think we moved far enough. We moved far enough. Okay, good, good, good. Let's head back to Volendrun. I, I need to get payment. We're not living in White Run, FYI, because frankly, I apparently have a bad history of incurring bounties there. Thankfully, Solitude is a much safer environment. Excuse me, just burped a little. Earn. Don't mind if I do. Just. No, really. I. Very nice. You know what? Yeah, I'll take the Magicka. You never know when you're going to need more Magicka right away. Always nice to see those restores. And a Volandrun. And we will go and get our payment. Okay, shovels and gold. Gold, gold, gold. Always happy to take some gold. Now let's go grab that money. Head inside. Okay, hopefully the chest reset. There we go, some healing, take that. And 20,000 gold, baby. Uh, no. I'm not going to report to Nazir because, frankly, I don't... Eh. Frankly, I don't care. Florian got what he wanted at the Dark Brotherhood. He got missions. He got objectives. Of... Okay. Okay. 
was not expecting that skeleton to come around. No matter. Let's head out and go to Solitude. Because, Frank, because we've got enough to buy a nice house. Florian will finally be able to get that house of his dreams. He'll finally get a home in Skyrim that he can actually be proud of. Let's head off to Solitude. Florian has some stuff to get. Some deeds to complete. And you know what? Speaking of plot of... Speaking of sheer Gorath, we can actually do his quest. We'll find the guy that... We'll find the guy because... Yeah, sheer Gorath is always fun. Like I said, just sheer Gorath is a whole bunch of laughs. When I do Oblivion, I'm just... I'm going to be so excited just to go to the Shivering Isles. Being old is not so bad. Okay, what time is it? Okay, 7 o'clock in the morning. We can't sell out the bits and pieces just yet. Okay, did we actually get it though? Okay, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to verify. Okay, nothing from you. I don't care about you. All I care about is finding that bum. Okay, I'll wait about four hours. See if that causes him to spawn. Let's wait. Uh, is he around? Is he around? Where are you? Where are you? Erukun's house. Blue Palace. Ah, here you are. Wait, hear my plea. My master, he is lost between worlds, and I cannot bring him back. Why does everyone ignore me? Why do you turn your heads? What do you Why need? Why no one help me? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people. And nothing I say can change his mind. You and your Dark now Souls pupils? He even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Yeah, I'll help. How can I find your master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no. Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Why aren't you leaving then? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. But chaos is Sheer Goroth's thing. If it was orderly, then Sheer Goroth would be insanely upset. Yes, we'll head in and we'll knock out that. This is a pretty short quest. It's on the way to what we want to do in the Blue Palace. So, might as well. Just the blank loading screen, screen of doom. The loading screen. Well, it certainly makes me want to scream with how long it can be. I need to get to the Pelagius wing. Oh, I get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Falk asked me to check you out. Well, I suppose in that case, it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Don't mess anything up while you're here. Let's head to the Pelagius wing. Sorry, I got a little nervous. Okay. Yes, let's go off to Wonderland, shall we? As we get loaded into the Breton screen. 
Okay. Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. Yes. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. A dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that monkey fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time. Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, oh, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harum! Well, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I've said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Hello, Shigorth. And we have to, and they take my clothes away, my good clothes. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Who are you talking? Wait, where are we? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh. Is it your first time? Who are you talking to? Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired. He forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song. A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. Where are you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? What? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Very. <laughs> no matter. But honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think yes. you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here. All I, all I know is that people need you to return. me what are you saying something I do apologize it's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored I mean really here he is stand before Shea Gorath himself Daedric Prince of Madness and all you deem fit to do is deliver a message how sad so does that mean you'll leave or not? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay, what's the catch? Ah! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Any idea where you are? 
where you truly are. Mind of Blakeness, Welcome you mentioned it. to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could lose the Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? The Wabajack time. We must go through the trials of the mind. This is a brief fun in mission. Down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Wolf time. Goat. Okay. Now ain't this a surprise? Fight them, goat. Child. Little Pelagius. Need something? Yes. Okay, just from the child. Never should have come. Hag Raven. Big improvement. Okay, destroy the thrall. Good. Yeah, look out the campfire now. Dragon Priest! Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Ah, uh, yes, there's the chest. I knew a chest would appear. Come on, Shiagora, don't do this to me. Yeah, you can't transform anything. Yeah, we can collect wings of butterflies, but we can't open the chest. Okay, first of the challenges has been done. Next challenge of Pelagius. Ah, now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. A understandable the hatred. Deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Yes, just is finally ready to pass. Oh, you got here. We go. Anything need something? Got something to say? Can't transform you again. We have defeated his doubts. Now let's wabajack some other stuff. Choice. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> yeah. You might find it less so. You see, okay, what was that? Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. 
Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in the very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabasha to defeat the enemy, while they do the same. Sure thing. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you helped him out. Sir, and we're that much closer to home. Okay, let's head over to talk to Plagueis. I ah, sorry, to Sir Gorath because we have defeated the challenge. Okay, unfortunately, this is just a very little short romp, but it's a fun danger quest, all nonetheless. Do you mind? Done. He doing the fish Fixed thing? his mind. It's a very delicate state of mind. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Or knee. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, Go. Really? Will do. Just Septum the Third. What's the mad emperor of Tamriel? Now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage! Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't Do wait I? to. I'm yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack. As a symbol of my. I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! Send me out. Uh, you can beat me out now. Thank you. Don't leave me in the clothes. I want to be in my fancy garments, my robes of destruction. Nope, I have to go and I have to dress in my stuff again. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Archmage's robes. Boots of warmth. Peerless gauntlets. Okay. 15% potions. Major Magica. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep that one on. Sam regenerates. Savos' amulet. Okay, and Vulcan. There we go. We're back up to full strength. Hey, now they disequipped everything. Yeah, let's head out. Nothing left in this area anymore. Okay, that is not something we want to do. Okay, uh, I'm kind of getting a little nervous. Where, where's the exit? Where's the exit? 
Where's the... Ah! Okay, um, I should be able to find the exit soon. Okay, where is it? It's driving me mad! Where's the exit? Okay, where is it? Aha! Okay. There's the exit. Okay. Let's get out of here. Yeah, here I am getting freaked out in the blue pals like you wouldn't believe. Okay. Thank goodness for clairvoyance. I know that's a weak spell, but it's a weak and semi pointless spell. But in moments like this, it could save you. Okay. We're out of there. Where's my fireball? Be quick. I have little patience for mundane Do you have business I hear you're looking for some help in the Wolf Skull Cave. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Barnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolf Skull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Will do. Feel free to return to me with questions. The blue power. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Okay, man who cried wolf. Let's go out to Wolf Skull Cave. We need to do this mission if we want to get a house. Florian wants a house. He wants his house in solitude so that way he can do some stuff. It's a good house. A nice house. Yes, let us ha Yeah, it's, it's your dragon bridge, so no big issue there. Just waiting. And there we go. Let's head out to the Dragon Bridge. Dragon Bridge, Dragon Bridge. How is this anywhere near the Dragon Bridge? This here's Dragon Bridge. This place is entirely, is insanely far away. It's not even close. It's not even on the direct path. It's in the mountains. Still, we'll go out there and we'll do what we need to do. The big labyrinthian head. No issue, no concern. Okay. Let's move. Jump up the rock. Yeah, we have the Waba Jock, so basically we can use it if we so desire. But frankly, it's unpredictable, and Florian just doesn't need it. Florian has his magic. He could unleash all sorts of power. Okay, good. I'll use this as a basically a turned on death. There we go. Get some level ups off this. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Imperial Soldiers, for doing absolutely nothing for me in this case. Oh, 
Okay, frankly, I find Restoration to be the hardest school to level up just because just turning undead is your best spell. Okay, let's head into Wolf Skull Cave. Speak of which, just let's see skills. One handed. What's one handed looking like? Level 65. It's very decent. Conjuration level 95. That's almost maxed out. Okay, we're in the cave. Mushrooms. No tr Warlord, Fireball. Okay. Necromancers. It's always Necromancers. Yeah, you thought your Ice Magico would do anything to me? Take care of them. I'll harvest their stuff. Coin purse. Always nice to get some gold out of it. Let's see what you have. Some stuff. Okay. Ash pile. Nothing I can really use. Let's see what's going around here. Whoa! Yeah, no. I could easily jump down, but I will not risk it. Nothing over there. Let's head around. Where are we going? Uh, Dramora Lord, where'd you go? Oh, looks like I'm going down. Fine. Okay, that tickles. Where's my slow time spell? Where's my slow time? There we go. There we go. Okay, where's my Conjure Dramora Lord? There we are, good. Well, it looks like we're not coming back up the way we came in. Okay. Let's head to this next room. Doing pretty well. Wiped out a few guards. Wolf Queen, hear our call and awaken. We summon Potema. We summon Potema. Oh, this isn't Long good. Have you slept the dreamless sleep of death, Potema? No longer. Hear us, Wolf Queen. We summon you. Nope. Only Florian gets to do the evil around here. Okay. Yeah, no. What? What are you doing, you fool? You cannot bind me to your will. You and shall have the power to bind me. 
Where's the way up? We need to stop this. Flory needs to stop this. Fireball. Boom. Okay, glowing mushroom. Okay, are we any closer? Are we any closer? Come on. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. Yeah, really? You want to bow down to a powerful force? You bow to Florian. Stop the intruder. She's now free. Boom. We won. Necromancer. We're okay. I don't need any glass daggers. Nope. Don't need that. Okay, light armor. That's not going to really help out. Okay, destruction level 68. Conjuration level 96. Nice. Okay, where's my become ethereal spell? My shout. Uh, okay, I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck. What the heck? Okay, I am apparently screwed. Okay, uh, how did I discover this glitch? Ah, I know. Well, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm now reloading the game. Yeah, that's always fun. You have to reload the game because you glitched into a rock. Wolf Queen, hear our call and awaken. We summon Potema. We summon Potema. Long have you slept the dreamless sleep. No longer hear us, Wolf Queen. We summon you. Okay, bring it on. Good. Bring it on. 
boom. Okay, we'll try and make this fast. Yes! Okay. Okay. Let's head up. This time we're not gonna try any shortcuts. I'm just gonna try to find my way up. you before you can even hit the ground. Take that. I can sell that on the market. And with this, take that. You have nothing on us. Wait, wait, wait. I, I don't need fury. Books, fury. Fury, where's the fury? Fury, fury, fury. Yeah, we'll put this on. Ah, what was that just now? Oh. Okay. You have nothing. You have no idea what you're dealing with. I went to the midden. I can have powers that you cannot even comprehend. Dramora Lord, let's see what we have. Yes, try to stop me. Fireball. Jump kill. Okay, we'll t search what you have on you. Okay, this time I am not going to be messing with things. Uh, sorry about the sneeze. Uh, my allergies were just acting up. Ah, good thing I'm checking. I don't care if this seems cheap. I want to make sure I don't fall in any holes again. No, 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 no. I've fallen for that same trick twice.
Okay, uh, what am I missing? Okay, that Dremor Lord scared me a little. Okay, it would appear that there should be a secret passageway or something. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm seeing absolutely nothing. What the heck? Okay, that's not a lever. That is nothing. Okay, search around. Really, what, what am I missing? Is there something on the top floor that I'm not, that, that I missed? Okay, frankly, this is starting to get me a little frustrated. I, I don't know what I did wrong. Aha! Okay. Ah, lever I did not notice before. There we go. That's what I was missing. Get some of these. Don't fall down that hole, otherwise you will be glitched. Why would the game put that there? Well, at least we're out, so that's good. Okay, it should just be a straight shot right back up to the surface. Sure enough, there it is. Right back to Skyrim. Easy mission, easy completion. No fault, no foul. Okay, uh, what's going on? Current location, world map. Solid to t Okay, we'll warp off to the Blue Palace. We'll talk, get our reward. I think we'll have to complete another mission if we want to get our house, because apparently you have to go through about five hoops in order to buy a house in Solitude. Only the classiest houses... Get the classiest house can only be bought by the greatest of adventurers, of which we are. Because we are great and we are mighty and we are strong and we are powerful. Inside the area. The Blue Palace. Waiting. Waiting. Ah, oh, there you are. Where's your yaw? Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Creepy ghost. Potema herself. Please tell me you stopped them. Kinda yes. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. Wait, I have little patience for mundane concerns. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Okay. Anyone with a stout heart like yours is welcome here. Okay, I guess when I bought the house. I got bought the house. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Take Do care you of yourself and always of remember. 
Let's make going destruction out of curiosity. The world is right with people looking to stay with life. Okay. Yeah, we have about seven hours. See if we can buy a house. See if we can buy our house in solitude. And where's your leader? Do you have business with the court? I have business to talk to, see what's going on. I am the Yarrow Steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. Okay, where is she? Oh, there she is. Please address all There's questions. Something? Personal. I was hoping you would do for Hey, me. Florian does not do that kind of thing. At least not for free. You want hand stuff, you gotta pay Florian top dollar. Falk told me what you did for us at Wolf Skull Cave. He says you're someone we can trust. As you may know, Talos' worship was outlawed in the Empire. When we buried my husband, I made offerings to all the gods, except Talos. And now you're screwed. You to take no Talos, place. no a joy. And hand it down from his father and place it at a shrine of Talos. Fine. Do you worship Talos? No, but my husband, Torg, would want a proper burial. And this is the way Nords are buried in Skyrim. What too good for Talos? Fine, I'll do it. Thank you. It would mean a lot to me. Okay, fine, we'll go to the Shrine of Talos. The Shrine of Talos! Yeah, I just love how Hemskir just, just really goes all out with the Talos! Now we'll go to Grey Winter Watch. Hopefully I do not sneeze again, because really, just, because really, when it, it, when I sneeze, it's painful, because it's like a shotgun effect, it just, it sends recoil, and then my nostrils burn afterwards, it feels like smoke should be coming out of them, I don't know. Talos time, Talos time, let's go to Talos time, Talos time. Talos time, time, Talos time, Talos time. Oh yes, it's Talos time, Talos time. Okay, anyone else want to challenge me? Any other mud crabs want to challenge me and my power? I can ask you, what's our flame spell? What's our spells looking like in terms of destruction? Fireball spell, 60 points of fire. Nice 60 points of health. Always willing to take that. Just this remote Talos shrine in the middle of nowhere. Why can't we go white run? Take Torg's horn. I gotta warp all the way back to solitude. Thank goodness they have fast travel. I know that fast travel is one of those things that people, they debate, oh, is fast travel good for RPGs or does it ruin the immersion? Frankly, I love fast travel because it takes out the need for pointless travel. And frankly, if you don't want to use fast travel, fine, don't use fast travel. But, if, but in a world like Skyrim, you need to move around quickly if you want to actually not spend five hours just wandering around. Let's head inside. And let us claim what we can claim. My curiosity, when I know this is random, but when you scratch the bottom of your foot, does it tickle? I've got a lot of respect for the Restoration School. Skyrim could use a lot more healing. Frankly, Restoration's not Florian's forte. It's a fine day with you. 
If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard. I have I have your horn placed. Falk said I could count on you. You have more than earned the right to Thank you. and take the next step to becoming a thane. Speak to Falk when you have the funds. And thank you. Okay, that was easy. Yeah, anything? There's room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold, and who owns at least one piece of property in my city. You help my people and purchase a house from my steward, and I'll make you my thane. Yeah, it'll be an honor. Good luck to you. Be well. Pray for solitude. May the gods Amen. watch over your battle. I'll buy your house. Splendid. There's a house available right now. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new home. The decorating guy. I'd like to decorate I'd my be home. Glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home. And of course, don't forget to consult your home deck now. What would you like to purchase? Okay, fine. We will buy a bedroom. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit, is there anything else you'd like to purchase? A living room. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next, is there anything else you'd like to purchase? We will buy a children's bedroom. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? An enchanting laboratory. Very well, I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? An alchemy. Hmm. How much funds do we have and left? With a stout heart like you. Do you have business with the court? I'd be glad. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? Okay. Hmm. 15,000. That would be 4,000. 4,500. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll buy all that. Very well. I'll make. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Patio decorations. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Kitchen. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Be I... quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. Okay, we have a house now. Yes, as you can see, we bought children's bedroom. Because Florian, he is debating about what about children. So exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you'd have plenty of adventures. Okay, where's my house? Ella Cor's house. Is that my house? Okay, I just need to find my own house. Broiling house. I have to search for my own house. Elicur's house. This my house. Bard's College. Ew. But my house is near the Bard's College. Hey, what about you? Y'all's house. Bard's College. Okay, is this Yarla's house? Yvette Sands' house. Okay, come on. I want to jump up the stairs. I want to just go up the stairs. Adivar's house. Okay. All of the dead. For a second, I thought that was going to be Florian's house. That would have been just fitting for his own house. Only Florian cannot know where his own house is. Victoria Vichy's house. Isn't she dead? House Fire Manor. Here we go. Here is my house. Ah, uh, yes, all the goodies. Knock down a sweet 
Trey. I'll take that, thank you. I'm just checking out the place. This is our new house. Enchanting lab. I'm not acting the mannequins. The mannequins are creepy. Okay. Nah. I'll wait. Ring of Minor Restoration. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put that there. Not missing this one. Unless there's Soul Gem. Some nice enchanting stuff we could use. Nice. Very nice. Why do we have a weird cot in the middle of the house? I don't even know why we have that. Is this the children's room? Because if that's the case, then Florian is very game for this. Florian will put the children in the creepy room. Lots of iron. Only the best for Florian. Door one. Oh, this must be the children's bedroom. Florian needs the big bed. Good. Here's Florian's big bed. Very nice. Florian can adopt two children. Two children to torture. At the very least, Florian has an idea of one of the children that he would adopt. So let's head off to, to Winterhold, shall we? Florian has aspirations. Let's add to solitude, shall we? Florian has plans. Florian needs to basically have options. Anyways, where's the bits and pieces and bobbles place? For a second there, I thought a dragon was on the attack. Need something? Hmm? What are you sticking around something? for? You have no emperor to protect here. Come on, where where is it? Where's the exit? Okay, Pratt Spire Manor is right there near the Blue Palace. Florian, of course, needs to be near the politics. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that character. Okay. Bits and pieces. I need to sell. Okay. Leg is his hip bone. I will sell you this artifact. First off, let's see what we can sell for apparel wise. Let's see what we've got here. Our shoes. Shrouded armor. Shrouded hand wraps. Okay. Let's see what we can sell here. Okay, good. Sell the Emperor's robes to you. Fine boots, fine clothes, fine hats. Not selling Cicero's hat. Come back to bits and pieces. Okay, what's our fortune up to now? And we didn't even sell a good chunk of the stuff. How nice. I don't.
winter hold. Quite fancy clothes. We uh, we have business there. One, Florian would very much like to see if he can buy some new spells. And two, Florian wants to adopt a child. That's right, Florian will basically adopt children. Yars Longhouse. Okay, where's the pub? Go ah, here's the pub. You're that one from the college. Heard about you. Yes, you probably did. Florian has objectives. Frankly, Florian has his goals. Just glad all that thing is over with. What did you need? Save. not do anything. Does everything well, Melikar? Melikar! Oh yes, quite fine. My accommodations here continue to be just what I need. And there haven't been any problems. Are you referring to your other customers? No, everything is fine. I see. Well, let me know if things get out of hand. Every time, Noah Carr basically or someone just gets in the way. There are so few pleasures in life as fine as your company. Okay, where's my visibility? Why can't I hire bounty hunters or someone? Oh no, he died! Whatever shall we do? Florian had to use his bow skin. Don't worry, Archmage here. Oh, he died to an arrow to the head. Oh no, oh no, his, his, his clothes need to be taken for evidence sake. Yeah, here's the issue, he had an, he had an axe. He was planning something. Why are you working for the Thalmor? Okay, let's see where the mother is. No, 
car? Where did you come from? Don't worry. Don't worry. Everyone eventually becomes a stealth archer. How could you do that? Come quietly or taste the yard's justice. Okay, they're both dead. Oh no, they died to such horrid means. Now we must find their daughter who showed sympathy to the mages. <laughs> yes, the fact that Florian kills two parents just to adopt the kid. What is it? Ah, she's probably in the basement. No matter, we shall adopt this child, and she shall become part of Florian's demented family. She shall be raised in Florian's dark arts. Just glad all that business with Malin is over. What did you need? Time to check out their cellar. Okay. Where's the daughter? Their daughter should be around somewhere. Oh, what happened? I Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Absolutely no time to deal with low lives these days. Okay. Go away. Where are you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. I'm just trying to have a quiet drink here, all right? Nothing. Nothing. Where's the girl? Is Ottomans, Gyakyar's house. Okay, any other houses? Okay, this is probably for the store once again. Yep, uh, yep, store. Okay, gotta search around. Just glad all that business with Malin is over with. What did you need? Okay. Okay, Skyrim Darger. Okay, there we go. Found him and his information. We have to find Arid. Speak quickly. Okay. Okay, I'm not getting any information on his house. Okay. Yep, 
Okay, uh, the daughter's not around. Where's Arid? Okay, sleeps in the basement at night. Was she already sent off to the orphanage? Because otherwise I'll have to find my way through Riften. Okay. Okay, she should be here. Yet she isn't. Okay, I'm just waiting around. Okay, is she around somewhere? Because frankly, I killed her parents. I, we killed her parents, and we need to adopt. She was kind to mages. She had promise. Florian knew what he was doing. Florian knew what he was doing as an evil human being. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Fine, fine. All right. Don't think you can barter with me like I'm one of those cheap customers. Okay, let's head down to Riften. Okay. Yes, just waiting to get arrested in win in. Rift in. That's always nice to see. Just rift in. We get arrested. Boom. We're caught. We are trapped. I order the arm. Fine, Stop fine. Right Take me to jail. I guess you're. Fine, fine. It's not like you're going to bring back the hundreds of guards that. Florian destroyed. Yeah, let's just sleep. Let's serve our prison sentence. Just gotta wait. Gotta wait and then see if she got sent to the orphanage already. I don't know where she went. Yeah, she watched if she got teleported right to the orphanage. They worked fast. But who knew that Florian was such a good stealth mage? Heard they were forming a dawn guard. Vampire. Honor all orphanage. Let's see if Arid is right inside. There was a fight down in the Ratway, but reports are sketchy. Some say it was Thalmor agents. Others say thieves killed. I used to hate it here, but it's not so bad anymore. Constance is real good to us. Okay. This war has created so many orphans, and so few are willing to open their hearts to them. Things are much better now that Grellis is dead, but still, yeah. I'm sick of this place. I was named after the sound a lion makes. You know, roar! I can't believe Grellot is dead. I had no love for the woman, but to be murdered in cold blood. Okay, really, where did she go? Okay, still, we did something. Yeah, really, just where did she go? She's not in the orphanage. But she's not anywhere nearby. I don't even know what's going on. Come on, 
My job is to serve the Jarl, not waste time talking to travelers. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Okay. Go in there. Okay, let's see if she's in the frozen earth, because really, what is going on? I want to adopt. Come on. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Okay. She should be somewhere. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Yeah, look how they didn't even clean the bodies up. Okay. Anything? Uh, okay, where did she go? Okay, I'm not even sure what's going on. Okay, I don't know where she went. Tankard. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just going to go full day. Okay, waiting. Okay. Oh, what happened? Yes, what happened indeed? How come you're in winter hold? My pa says people like you are the reason no one lives here anymore. Okay, finally, a child emerges. Okay. Before children. Are sent to Riften. Okay. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Okay. We're, yeah, where is this child? Where's the freaking child? Okay, nothing. Just glad all that business with Malin is over with. What did you need? I don't care. I'm just trying to have a quiet time here. Okay. Do you think we need their laws? Wonder oh. what it's like for those Talmud now that they've been taken down. In yeah, I'm just trying to find children. I'm trying to find the child. Best offense is a good defense. Am I right? Kraldar's family was once very powerful and weak. It's my honor to assist you even now. Okay, let's search around. Hard to believe I ever complained about Riften being cold. Okay. Okay, where's Arid though? 
I could have sworn that she would have been, I don't know, in the town. So Echo just picked her right up and just sent her right to the house. Trying to find her, I destroyed her parents. Okay, just gotta wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Honey side. I'm off work at the Black Friar meter. Nope. Okay, we cleared the jump, good. Yes, we're... I can't believe Grelot is dead. I had no love for the woman, but to be murdered... Nud... Arid! Are you... Are you going to adopt one of us? Yes, I will, Arid. You will be adopted. Need something? My only I my adapt. Guess. Yes, of course. What a wonderful surprise. What do I need to do? First, I'll need to ask you if you Fine. Can... Your name? Florian Greenheart. What do you do for a living? An assassin, a mercenary. I am an archma- I am the archmage at the College of Winterhold. What? If you aren't going to be- Wait. Sure, you're serious. Yes! Well, I- Alright then. Where will your child be living? In my house in solitude. It is nicer than any house here in Riften. Very well. That's all I need from you. Congratulations. I think you'll make an excellent parent. Go meet the children and decide who you'd like to adopt. Once you've made a decision, I'll collect their things and be sure they make it over to your house. Good. Mama. I could tell me about yourself. My my parents died. And now I'm all alone. Oh, that's a real shame, Arid. I could adopt you. Really? Are you Are you sure? It's not Yes, it's not like it's not like Florian killed your parents and then decided just so we could adopt you because you said some nice things about mages. I'll be the best daughter ever. You work in the fields. I need to get my things and say goodbye to everyone. I'll meet you at home. Thanks. Thanks so much. Yes. Florian would be more than happy to meet you. Hmm. Now to debate what to do next. Florian could always go and do some things. What to do next? Uh, what? I don't, I don't want to be in the courtyard. Gotta get out. Okay, I have to debate what I'm going to do next. Quests. Clear the Draugr from the cave. Ceremonial weapons. Talk to Yorlif. Abandoned house. Hmm. House of Horrors. I'll do with Wall. I'll check out one quick place. I need to get my things and say goodbye to everyone. I'll meet you at home. Yes, yes. I love how this girl is so naive to the fact that Florian just utterly decimated her family. Florian killed her family just so that way he could adopt her. That was Florian's master plan. 
Blackbriar Meadery. The Bee and Barb. Let's see what's in the Bee and Barb. No one here. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Yes, the fishing. Yeah, you know what? We could actually get start. We could actually do some other quests. Alduin's Wall. We'll do Alduin's Wall. Finish off this app, this stream by basically getting some more of the main quests done. Reach Cliff Cave. Let's head over there. Yes, frankly, Matt, if that's where Mattenock is hiding out, it wouldn't be a bad idea to basically torch him, you know? Show him what happens when you defy, when you basically deal with Florian. But yeah, Florian. Yeah, that's why Florian got that, we got that Tom. So that we, oh crap. By order of my Tremora Lord, you're going to not do anything. Go, my Tremora Lord. Fine, I'll do it myself. By order of the Yard. No. Go. You're outmatched. Good. We're out of here. Let's get going. And boom. What happened to you, Carl? The Force Born have taken small state of mind. We're the only ones left. Oh, God. You two head inside and get some rest. I'll send word to the Jarl. Pablo and I had to fight our way out of cold skin. Force one killed this everyone dangerous. else. Keep is this your mind? Skaggy is in charge, not me. You're from here? Was. Hopefully Skaggy will send word to the yard. I'll take care. But I wouldn't go there if I were you. There's a whole group of them with axes and magic on their side. You'd never stand it. Yes. That spell looks dangerous. Yeah, we'll keep that on the list. Okay, yeah, you know what? We'll do the mine. And then we can knock out, basically, that Alduin's wall quest. Florian's always got to have a, have a death objective. Florian's always got to be mobbed by someone, destroyed by some group. You know, yeah, we'll take out the mine, and then I think that would actually be a good time to end things off. And then the next step is so we can actually get some stuff with the main quest done. Okay, let's head out. Lorian needs to have his object objectives. Conjuration 96, 68... Yeah, I know that we constantly are losing these level ups when we have to deal with the swords of an okay. Think you're tough. You think you're tough. What the? Okay. 
Okay, I was not expecting that, to be honest. Tremora Lord? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you like that? could sell these. These are very light, but very, very valuable. Yes, fuel me. Fuel my power. Dragon soul absorbed. Yes, yes. Absorbed it. Yeah, Forsworn, they don't tend to hold anything really valuable, so they're really not in your best interest to loot. So let's head up, shall we? Head into the mine. Well, let's see what our destruction skill's up to now. Barely anything! Hooray! Yeah, hopefully we can raise that destruction skill up a little bit. Because really, I want to buy some decent spells. Some decent damage spells. Think you can fight me? Any others? Any others? Boom. Okay, fine. Go. Go, my mighty minion! Destroy them all! Yeah, paralyze my Tremor Lord! Come on, bring it! You know what, in the next episode, I think we could actually get our third level of the Time Freeze shout. Yeah, they never hold any good items. Never good items. Let's go, shall we? Leave this place, this mine of fury and might and power and wrath and we shall flee from it at once you know what yeah I'll, I'll knock out the rest of that quest you know I'll do that main story quest okay we'll run back to the mine take that out 
Actually, no, no, no. By the time I get back, it'll be about two and a half hours. I'm sorry if I'm seeming like I'm flip-flopping all over the place. It's just deciding what to do, how to handle things, balancing things out. Yeah, doing the main quest would really help out. Yeah, Rock Reach Cliff Cave, that could also help us out. Getting our final shout in the region would also... Getting our final shout, our final time shout, that would also be a pretty useful thing. Okay, can we get to this farm? Any farmers? 68, we're almost 69. Ooh, there's a farm! You know what that means! <laughs> I swear, this feels like one of those serial killer in the making documentaries. They had to ruin the fun. Milk drinkers, apparently. Oh, they have some good stuff. My stuff now. Gold. Gotta always search the end tables. I mean, really, if I'm if I'm going to be destroyed, if I'm apparently making. The destruction of farmers is just a thing. I might as well take their stuff. And let us move out. And... Roasted chicken. Zarthwamp, destroyer of worlds. You lost? Don't Kolskig, your mind is lost, friend. What, it's clear. Thank you. We'll head back to work right away. Take this. It's the least I can do. A thousand gold. Thank you very much. Farewell. Divine smile on you, friend. You have nothing else to offer. Does your friend... For your help, I'm sending word to the orc strongholds that you're to be trusted. You should be welcome there now. Oh, good. Till next time. May your next fight need something? What do you want? Are they all guarded? What are you looking at? Well, you've done me a favor, so I'll basically be nice to you. You get to live. You get to survive another day. How did this guard die? I didn't kill him. I'm fine with it, though. Left hand mine. Okay. Who's Gorm? Okay, let's look around. We gain the pale, Bever of Thieves Guild. Okay, Brynjolf. Gain access to the temple, house of horrors, blood on the eyes, silence tongues, forbidden legends. Yes, by King the Battle Mage. Okay, I'll basically go in Alduin's Wall, where's Alduin's Wall? There we are, good. 
all the way down there. Okay, we'll do that next time. Anyways, I think now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate you stuck around to watch the stream. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like the stream, consider following, and I hope you see you next time. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I really appreciate you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share it to where they want. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye.